Ah, it's terribly uh, sorry for uh, my tardiness. Uh, the cat just vomited all over my copy of Infinite Jest, and I am completely out of sanitizing wipes, not to mention papier de toilette. And uh, speaking of which, if anyone wants any extra credit, uh, you know, uh, but anyway, as I was uh, in the midst of my panic to clean up the cat wretch, I thought, why? It's fitting. My cat feels the same way about that tome as I do. Um, but she's, of course, incapable of expressing herself in words. Um, for all I know, she was up all night reading about some oligarch with a Toblerone fixation. And you know what? I don't blame her, and neither should you. Uh, oh, <laughs> looky here. We have a new face in the crowd. Uh huh. And who are you? You must be my, my Zoom bomber. I've been waiting for you, David Davidson. Ah, uh, Professor, I've been in this class the entire semester. Okay, bring it on, pal. I want the blue language, the foot in mouth porn. Bring it, the speaking in tongues. Do your worst, bomb me, baby. You couldn't handle my worst, and I've been here the whole time. Professor, if I, I'd love to jump in here. Uh, David has been enrolled for the entire course. Is that so? Okay, well, uh, let me just check the old roster, all right? Let me just need to open up a, a file, PDF of the um, is it users, downloads. Okay, uh, well, that's um, as I suspected. <clears throat> Students, please welcome Mr. David Davidson, Bachelor of Arts candidate in computer science. I have an MFA, the terminal degree for an artist. And uh, all right, I apologize for uh, profiling you as a Zoom bomber, David. Um, profiling me? I did not say that. You, you, you did. You said that. Word. Does anyone recall me using the word profiling? Yeah. You did. You did. Yeah, yeah you definitely you did. did. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone? Yeah, Does anyone? What? Anyone recall that? It was like less than 20 seconds ago. You said profiling a lot of times so far. This is a good book. You might want to look at it. In that case, I must have misspoke as, as all of you seem to know very well, language can be difficult. And speaking extemporaneously places a great strain on the medulla oblongata. Actually, I do know a little something about this. Um, speech originates in the BRCA area of the prefrontal cortex. Well, thank you so much for that uh, clarifying interjection, Jalissa. Study a lot of brain physiology in massage therapy school, do you? Yes, I did. Actually, there's a connection between mind-body. That's, uh, that's comforting to know. Um, great. Um, really, the only reason that I suspected that you were a uh, Zoom bomber, David, is because, frankly, I was hoping you were one. I'm desperately wanting uh, for one to appear to shake up this horrific existential monotony and also... I didn't recognize you. Uh, end of story. It has nothing to do with. With what, Professor? Anything. Didn't have it. Had nothing. Had nothing to do with anything. Dean, are, um, are you, will you be attending every single class? Uh, at this point, uh, definitive malt. <laughs> yes. Uh, but this week, I realized we haven't actually conducted a formal teaching evaluation of you in quite some time, which is... Or never. I just checked the records. Why would you check the records? Well, yeah, uh, yes, that's why I'm here tonight, to observe the teaching, offer some feedback, and make a report to send to the provost, and then the president. So, could you wow. maybe start by screen sharing your syllabus? Yes, please. Would love awesome. to see it. Yeah. 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 Yes. I want to know what we're reading. <laughs> that's not a problem. Um, that's just something real easy to do. Just... It's called opening up the old okay. screen sharing the syllabus. I just go into users and 
as I was saying, my cat has a visceral distaste for David Foster Wallace, which I can smell from here, I might add. And, uh, oh, there we go. There it is, the syllabus. So let me just... Oh, professor, you're frozen. Can you hear us? He's not frozen. He just blinked. His mouth is twitching. Professor, we see you. We see you. Are you acting like you're frozen? Uh, that could be an optical illusion caused by Q9 hackers. I'm really worried about his cat. Oh, um, let me talk. Hold on. No, she's fine. I guess. <laughs> yeah. No, I get. He has a lot of Q-tips lying around the house. She swallowed one, but she's feeling much better today. So. And she can't read. Good. Can we go now? Yeah, let's go. Bye. Daniel, I, I really like your shirt. Hello, all. Uh, tonight, we will endeavor something a wee bit different. Oh, and what is different than nothing? It sounds like algebra. I was under the impression there would be no math. Actually, uh -huh. very, very, very funny, but not really. Uh, something is different than nothing, Sam. I would suggest that anything is different than nothing, but something is what we have for you tonight. Class, uh, for many months, nay, years, I have been stymied in my writing, but you, my triple L students persisting through these challenging and difficult times have unlocked what I believe will come to be known as my greatest work. Oh, one of your two works. Yes, of my, yes. Of my two works, the world will have seen when I submit to the Roma Dramatica workshop to be led by none other than the great Carlo Messina. My friends, I have written a play. That's wonderful. Can we read it? Well, uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, I mean, that was the plan. I'd like to do a little table read before I revise the open. I've sent you the script and oh. your part, so this should not come as a surprise. Okay, let's, let's begin. Azione! Okay, I'm gonna put on my cheaters. Uh, so, I'm just going to read. Um, Again, you're, you're, the, uh, you're reading stage direction. Okay, got it. Oh, okay. Um, death, a play. We are in a break type room with little natural light. One guy in a dark suit and tie sits in a chair. This is Bill. He's smoking a cigarette. He has a face that doesn't give much away. Tom enters. He too is in a dark suit and tie. He's often shaking his head in disbelief. Hey. Hey. Tom resumes shaking his head and lifts his eyebrows confounded. Hey. You know what, I'm, I'm sorry. If I can just interrupt for a second here. I'm, I think that you might want to reconsider the, the dialogue because I, I read well, that um, the first thing a character says should convey a lot about who they are, and all these guys say to each other here is, hey. Makes sense. I hear, I hear what you're saying, maybe. Um, uh, but it, that is what they say. That's what they say to one another there. They are, they are friends. They, that's the greeting that they have with, you, with each other, and, and so that's what they do. They say, hey. Like oh. Willie Mays. No, not at all like Willie Mays, Mr. Shanker. Okay, I'm just... Avanti, Daniel! Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, Tom ambles around a bit, then picks at the lunch meats with a plastic fork and grabs a roll to make a sandwich. What is this? Bologna? Bologna. It's, bo it's bologna. Oh, sorry. Yeah. bologna. What, uh, what is this? Bologna? Mortadella, I think. What's that? I don't know. It's like bologna. Hey, hold on, you wrote a play about bologna? No, I didn't, no, Sam, I did not write a play about bologna. I wrote a play about death. Well, who died already? 
And where are the women here? You know, that it's just all men in the story so far. We're, two, we're only a half a page into the script, Jalissa. Well, I know, but if, if people only pay attention to the beginning and the end, then maybe your beginning should be a little bit more inclusive, right? Totally, I agree. And also, uh, I am, I'm still a bit unclear about the setting. I'm craving more details about the world. And also, maybe, could they be vegetarian? Lunch meat, it makes me really sad. The dark suits and ties bumped me. It's very Reservoir Dogs, and there can only be one Tarantino. Thank God. Right? You know what? I just, I just went ahead and counted. We are only 124 words into my play. And what you have said, the words that you have used, uh, collectively are about five times that. So could we just, just let's just. Hey, well, Professor, in the spirit of a real workshop, maybe you should just listen. One cannot argue with the audience, can one? Uh, yes, one can. Uh, yes, in fact, it's one's duty to argue with the audience when the audience is so wrong. You know, okay, thank you so much for your time and your efforts. I certainly appreciate it. I'm a bit uh, up against a deadline. Um, and as you have so uh, kindly pointed out to me, I certainly must have so much to do. No. Boy, he's got to learn to take criticism. You should have heard the shit I got for my first mud flap design. I hope it wasn't my acting. Oh, I don't think so, Wayne. No, no. You were fantastic as Tom. Yeah. I, I, I was Tom. He, he was Bill. Oh. Both fantastic. Whatever. I mean, they both said, hey.